Hello there, Virgo, and welcome back to another reading here on my channel. I hope you guys are doing well this lovely hump day. I know I'm already wet, already ready <laughs> for the weekend. All right, Vergsters. Wow, I just came up with that, Vergsters. I don't know if that's good. I don't know, Vergsters, the Vergsters. All right. This will work for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign, and any information you need is down below in the description box. That's email, where to book personals with me, and by extendeds. I would like to give my Virgos a shout out um, for because I have received some personal readings. I want you guys to know that I will be traveling coming here around May 8th to 9th, so I will be closing my personals for a while as I'm going to be out and about. I'm not going to be here on my channel as much or doing personals, but you will still see me. I still will be doing some readings. Okay. So Virgo, get in those readings before next week <laughs> if you want one. All right. Now we're going to pull cards. What does Virgo need to hear this week? What messages do we have? We have judgment in reverse. Okay moon in reverse and ten of wands okay so um virgo something has definitely been weighing on you okay here with the moon in reverse but you have literally i feel right now just come to a conclusion about something uh judgment in reverse ooh i feel as though Oh, look at this ace of swords on the bottom of the deck yeah you guys have gained truth and clarity on something that you needed to have clarity on especially here with the ten of wands i think that there has been a lot of burdens a lot of responsibility on your shoulders like you're, you're coming to the end of a pretty nasty cycle here maybe you are finally getting ready to release some kind of situation that there was no truth in okay you're you're kind of getting clarity here lots of clarity coming in um with the judgment card in reverse i feel like it was something that was repeating over and over and wasn't really lending itself to a better energy or a better situation but now you kind of know the truth and you can move forward I think that right now in your current state you're just really trying to figure out how to actually release all these sticks okay like how to let go how to take all that you've learned from the situation now and what you're going to do next so let's start getting clarity tell me about the judgment card please Tell me about the judgment card. We have three of swords in the reverse. Yep. Okay, moving through a heartache. Moving through a heartache. There's something here, maybe a heartbreak, uh, a breakup. I'm also hearing just pain. Okay, pain that was repeating. A repeating pain. I'm hearing it was something from the past. Page of Wands in reverse. So there could have been a delay on um, something that just it wasn't moving forward i'm hearing there's a lot of yeah a huge delay someone not giving to a situation in the way that you expected okay or at least the situation itself was i feel like it was on some kind of like repeat cycle sometimes my judgment card is the zombification card <laughs> i call it that because it's like something just keeps coming back from the dead over and over and i feel like you guys you guys were getting hurt by the situation and you're trying to persevere through it. You're trying to, to move through it. And this is the past energy. I feel like it just, there was nothing new about it. There was nothing fiery. There was nothing. It was stagnant. I'm hearing very, very stagnant situation that was just draining. Okay, Virgo. So let's take a look at the moon. But you guys definitely got the clarity you've needed for this said situation, okay? Temperance, here it is. My goodness. The clarity you need so that you can balance out these energies. Some of you guys are literally, wow, six of cups. So for some of you, this is a past issue, okay? Either with a person or within you that uh, was being triggered by this situation. Someone could have been, you know, exploiting or they 
didn't realize that's what was happening when you're with your interaction with them, this page of wands. It was like something here that they were doing was triggering some kind of childhood event or something that needed to be looked at. And you got the truth and the clarity you needed about yourself. And now this is introducing a whole new balance and you're feeling clear. You're feeling like you can have fun again. You're feeling like you can move through it. You guys may be embracing love in a whole new way or at least embracing life in a whole new way but with that ten of wands it's yeah it's something's coming to an end here a lot of burdens a lot of things that have been on your back are coming to an end like you're getting to the end of a very long journey here and you're starting to build on wow sun card i love it Virgo, I absolutely adore this reading right now. You guys are not only embracing healing or embracing love or maybe even reconnecting, okay, with your inner child, but you are, you're just feeling good energetically, okay? You're ready to move into something fun. You're ready to move into victory, move into the sunlight. You see these two cards together? I mean, there's just so much beautiful sunlight here and fun. I feel like things of the past are now being balanced out within you. Big time. Your guides may have helped you. I'm hearing one more card. Knight of Wands. Okay. So I'm also hearing some of you guys have been sparked passionately and creatively to move towards a person or move towards your endeavors in life, whatever it is. I love this energy because it's just, it's, it's passionate. It's moving away from the past and something that was going on and on and on over and over again and moving over to something completely brand new and that has happiness behind it, that has truth okay the truth of a situation bottom of the deck your challenge is the queen of cups so this is a water sign okay you guys may be, may be interested in a pisces cancer or scorpio here that you're moving towards or they're moving towards you so the challenge that's coming up for you next is how are you going to handle this queen of cups she or he doesn't matter just because it's a she on here. This Queen of Cups energy has a lot of love to give, okay? This could even be you embracing this, having a lot of love to give. There's a very good opportunity coming your way, and I do feel like it has to do with emotion, okay? And it has to do with fulfillment. It has to do with love. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um... Ten of Cups in the reverse. So, hmm, you may not have, I'm hearing this, you guys may not have thought hard enough yet about what you want emotionally. Yeah, there it is, Ace of Cups. You guys may be blocking um, <laughs> an offer from, a, from like a water sign, okay? You may be kind of like, uh, not really seeing it is what I'm hearing. Yeah, okay, we got Two of Cups in the reverse. I, I don't feel like this is, you in separation with anyone. I do not feel like that. I feel like this is something you don't know about yet. Okay? That there is love here for you and it is quite possibly a soul relationship. Something is happening that you don't know about yet. A ten of cups, an ace of cups, and a two of cups. We also have a king of coins. There's All of these are in reverse. It's um, I just keep getting the vibe. You don't know about this yet. You don't know about this. There's something boiling over or it's like in a hidden energy. You, you don't know about it. So your challenge here is this, like love, okay? Love and emotion. And uh, there could be, I'm hearing this, maybe some deep seated need for emotional fulfillment that you have not found yet. And there's a queen of cups, like someone that's either going to be appearing or someone in your energy that has all this love for you that you don't know, or you could actually be separated from them and there's a, an opportunity there, but you don't see it. I just keep, I keep hearing that Virgo. I don't see it yet. I don't see it yet. Hey, man, a reverse. Here you are, Virgo. You guys may be single. We have the death card coming next. So... There's possibility for a big change here of some somebody coming in and having emotional, like an emotional offer for you or wanting to 
get you to kind of explore what it is that you wish for in a relationship. So let's see what we have here for romance. What do we have from romance angels for Capricorn in this situation this week? Release your ex. Ooh. So this could be an ex that you haven't let go of. Okay, but I'm, I'm definitely getting a vibe here that you just don't know yet. This could be the heartache right here through swords. You guys haven't let go perhaps of a fire sign here. That was very immature young energy. Someone may be in and out. You guys may want to passionately pursue something new here with this Nine of Wands that isn't this Page of Wands energy. Another fire sign, a different fire sign. Um, we have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That is our sun card, okay? That is our ace of cups. Uh, maybe you guys are blocking out love for some reason right now. And it could be because of the, the ex you haven't let go of yet that still had been haunting you for a while. Chemistry. There's someone you have chemistry with, okay? A strong magnetic attraction could be this water sign here as your challenge. Could also be an, uh, a fire sign. There, there's some kind of chemistry here. Something that could work. A relationship that maybe is being blocked because you haven't let go of something yet from the past that kept, you know, coming, coming around. Um, maybe you're still healing that, okay? You're still trying to balance it out, those energies out with temperance. And be patient with yourself is what I'm hearing, Virgo. Be patient. Because I think that there is actually something here. All right. So this is my new deck here that I made. It's a little what would they say to you deck. Let's go ahead and see what they would say to you, Virgo. What would they say to you right now? What would they say to Virgo? What would they say to you right now if they could? What would your person think about them? Whether it's, you know, this Queen of Cups energy or somebody else, I would like you to think about them. Madly crushing on you. Yeah, you don't know about this. All right. Maybe they don't know about you. That's a possibility. Someone has feelings for you that you do not know about. I am definitely getting that vibe. What else do we have? You always encouraged me. So you know this person. Or you could be here with the sun card. Someone that people see a lot. Okay, you could be someone in the light. Someone that maybe they just like, they like how you talk. And they, they like how you are. You encourage them. They like your energy. You help to center me. Wow. So something about you, Virgo. Something about you is really on this person's mind. So you guys may have a secret admirer here or someone watching you um, that you don't know about that has a lot of love for you that they want to offer. Let's get you a piece of advice here. How should Virgo handle this? Bring love into the situation. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here it comes. Here it comes. Uh, adjustments are required. Yeah. I feel like you guys haven't, you guys haven't seen this. Work through your fears. Here we are again. Scorpio moon. Oh, that's what's happening right now. Yeah. I feel like adjust your gaze if you're looking for new love, because I think you got something going on here that you don't know about. I really do, because there's something that kept repeating here on repeat, okay? Whew. All right, let's take a look at the extended. Guys, feel free to join me down below if you would like to. We're going to take a look at how your person here feels about you. Maybe we can get a little bit more information about the hidden energies. And then we are going to take a look at the heart level and your challenge and see how we can help you through it, okay? I'll see you there.